Well, I'm actually at a loss. I'm kind of let down with Borderlands 3. It was hyped up too much, and I'm to blame for that. I know to stay away and keep away from the media, out of, out of the review videos, and keep to myself till I get a good grasp, a good feel for the game. I like to remain unbiased before I do a review, um, because it leads to expectations when I do watch other people's reviews. However, expectations will always bite you in the butt, so um, let's say out of 1 out of 10, 10 being the highest and 1 being the, the lowest, I give a Borderlands 3 a 5.5. Now this wasn't an easy decision to come by. Um, Borderlands in the past was an amazing thing. It brought me and my boyfriend closer actually because I wouldn't play a shooter game at all until he recommended Borderlands. I fell in love with uh, Tiny Tina. She was my favorite character. And I I was very disappointed in the third one that she didn't really make too much of an impression. I mean, yeah, there were a few missions, but this was all about annoying ass Tannis, and I didn't like her anyway. I tolerated her in this one, hoping that she would have some potential, but the way that they, by the end of the game, I wanted to strangle her myself. That being said, um, now for the butt hurt por portion of this video. I'm sick to death of this, and you see it all over the place. It's the, I'm a girl and I play video games too. And basically, I've played video games since I came into this world, okay? I don't need somebody to be like, here's this game. It's going to help you get your groove back. It's girl power this and girl power that. And uh, at the end of the whole game, we're going to have some lame-ass song about a girl on fire you know that crap if we're singing about a girl on fire i literally want her ass to be on fire i, I don't want it to be because she had some lifetime original movie playing in the background and she got a groove back with whoopi goldberg but that's just not that's not cool well where uh you know anyways i want the story not a lifetime movie with valerie bertinelli playing in the background being a victim or being a single mom trying to have it all. I like Borderlands for the characters, not the political agenda, not for gay rights, and not for feminism. Take your soapboxes back to Facebook, okay? And keep them out of our video games. That being said, everything else was good. The controls was fine. The graphics was fine. I even enjoyed uh, hunting down Zero's uh, uh, hit list. His haikus, uh, they kept me going. They were the best part of this game, in my opinion. Um, Tana sucks, um, but I'm not going to go into much details with that. Um, but ignoring that she is unbearable now, and uh, my character now takes over, it makes me want to wonder what's said when you beat it with the other characters, which I guess is a redeeming point since I'm going to do that just to see what's being said. And, uh, yeah, here's hoping that the Moxie DLC is going to be good. I don't have it yet. Um, I'm not too encouraged to get it considering that the rest of the game sucked, but I will because I love Moxie and I love Handsome Jack. Um, that being said, Tana sucks. Ava, I didn't really care either way. She was okay. They were trying to make her like Tiny Tina, and she just she was just more annoying than anything else. Lilith was lazy uh, throughout this whole thing. Then she thinks by making some grand gesture of killing herself was a way of uh, you know making things better. No, it doesn't make anything better. You didn't do anything, so why are you killing yourself? Oh, because you now suddenly have your powers back? Yeah, okay. That's not a reason. That's not goodness. Kill Tana. She's the one that acts like she's she's mastered everything else in this world. I mean, her sacrifice would have been more. It would have been a lot better. I would have actually like thrown a party, a parade, and you know, donated vaginal mesh for um, research. Since this is the estrogen fest that they want this to be. Anyways, I'm done. My rant is over. Uh, Borderlands Three sucks. All because they all wanted to push this feminism bullshit. And like I said, um, you can comment, you can subscribe. I don't care either way. I'm not really going to respond to any uh, arguments. Um, you're not going to change my mind. And I'm not going to argue politics on here. So uh, take it easy. Click likes, subscribe. I don't care. Um, but be sure to get those thoughts fixed.